Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin and Cardano. In this video, we're going to take a look at both the Bitcoin and the Cardano chart and overall in the market, the sell off continues Bitcoin now again below 38K and um, close to another low. And, um, you know, in the more crypto online community, we remain calm because we knew it was coming. We prepared for both scenarios and we're going to take a look at the Bitcoin chart first and then Cardano. Uh, now it's just jumped above 38 again, but so we can see that Bitcoin in line with expectations dropped. Obviously, I did talk about that in my previous video today. Uh, a lot of people panicking now, but um, yeah, we expected it was coming, of course. Nothing is ever guaranteed in the market. That is also why I started to dollar cost average in below 40K. I think in the medium term and the long run, these prices here are amazing. You know, uh, just think about when we were up here at 60K, we would have loved these prices back. Now they are here. And uh, for me, and that's no financial advice, but my view is they give me at least the opportunity and you as well, if you have the same view, of course, again, no financial advice but give the opportunity to really start a dollar cost average in at very attractive prices, even if I expect actually another drop below 29K. We've got the yellow target area here that I did start to share with you when we were around 60K up here. Um, it became my primary scenario when we dropped below 53K. And since then, we've been moving closer towards it. Yeah, um, we did then do here in this way four the minimum requirement, what the price needed to do. People were getting very bullish yesterday again. Um, and um, and we had a short term breakout. But um, yeah, I mean, I ob ob observed it because there was a possibility that we could have moved short term here to 47.1K. And it might have been attractive actually for a, a speculative long trade, but we didn't retest that support line. That is why I didn't do anything. I actually thought about it when I saw the breakout, but I obviously saw things happening before where you have these fake outs to the upside and then you break down. Um, but because we didn't retest that support line, I was skeptical. And then what happened, the price hit resistance and the whales probably started to short. And that was what brought the market down. And that is why we now need to be on the side of caution because this is when now many people are going to start selling. I think many people are now realizing that the price could go to 30K. I mean, it's not far away anymore, to be honest. And uh, people might be selling, people might panic sell. And that is when the whales start to buy. That is when they make money. You know, if you see the masses selling, uh, panic selling, you know, we see the fear and greed index, typically a good time to buy when at least historically, when the fear was high and we are currently at high or extreme high. Um, and nevertheless, you know, we've seen lower, lower values on the fear and greed index before. So there is more room to drop, but we need to be aware that at some point here, the whales will accumulate and then you get another move up and probably another move down. We are now here in this way five yeah, and uh, we need to see how far that's coming down. I would expect lower prices all the way into the target area here. Um, of that um, yeah, that yellow target area, basically. And we can see a very extended wave five. Um, I think that's very likely because this target area is basically would be the completion here of that ABC. And if we zoom out, we see it further. You know, that is um, that final sell off in my view needs to happen. We've had our wave one here, then an ABC correction. That is also the wave two after which we should really see a rocket start. Yeah. Um, also why we saw a very long bear market here was because it was the end of wave five back then. And we started here a new wave one. So it was the end of an ABC, a, a higher degree way. And then that's why we started now with a new wave one, two, three will be the next move up in my view. Of course, it's not guaranteed that we get into this target area between 20 and 29K. I had a question in a previous video, but with a very high likelihood, you know, everything's, you can only talk about probabilities. Nothing is for certain in these markets that otherwise I wouldn't start to dollar cost average in now, but I start to, because I remember when I was back here at 60, 65, 55K, I would have loved these prices back because this is now where a lot of the cryptos that I wanted to buy earlier in the year or 2021 were just very expensive. And now we are seeing here attractive prices, but uh, also we dropped that below that head and shoulders. So we could really drop much further. 
everything in my view points towards lower prices here. But because there is never certainty, I started dollar cost. I started to dollar cost average into Bitcoin below 40k, and um, yeah, my buy orders are already triggering for various cryptos. So um, yeah, I know you know it's it's just it's playing out and it's great. And that way, I would even be um, prepared for um, for a scenario where prices are going up. So, and then if we're talking about what's the best crypto to buy, I, I think when we get into this area down here. Any crypto will be at fantastic prices. Solid projects, you know, solid projects. That's my strategy. Yes, a few more speculative ones, but mostly solid projects. Bitcoin, Ethereum, ADA, Solana, uh, Chainlink. You know, the ones that I typically typically cover here, with a few metaverse ones as well, and a few um, and a few exchange cryptos as as well. So I expect lower prices. We've seen here the price drop here all the way. Um, to support, yeah, because we had here this. Um, try, try to find the right time frame. When we dropped here, we came on the way uh, onto that descending trend line again. Now, if you see that breaking and the current support level is at 37 and a half, I think we can see way lower prices. That could trigger another move down. I think what we're seeing here is just something like a um, like a consolidation, making here another lower low. Um, yeah, it could be even here something like a descending wedge that's forming, but I wouldn't expect something crazy here, any crazy move up. You can see that we're moving into an apex here. Yeah, definitely. Overall, because we've made a lower low, I would expect prices to go down further, especially as on the longer time frame. We've now seen here, first of all, on the weekly, we don't see it slowing down that MACD at all. Yeah, good to see that we're dropping lower and lower. So it, it's, you know, we're not too far from the bottom, I would say, but we can't see any sign of slowing down. On the other hand, on the monthly, though, it's only just starting. On the monthly MACD, and I talked about that before, if you see that bearish cross here, that could get very nasty. Yeah, it could get really, really bad. Now, no reason to um, get frustrated because just look at the chart here. Yeah, and um, I think you see it better probably on the weekly chart. Look at the chart, how it looked like. I showed it to you before. It's the S&P 500, what it did back here uh, over a long period, but that these patterns also turn up on, on shorter periods. It did the same thing. It came all the way up in one, two, three, four, five, and then we saw an ABC correction here, and it made that lower low. It's pretty much the same pattern where you had an overshooting wave B here, and then you came down in a wave C, in a wave two. And then you know what could be coming for the crypto market, right? Look at this. Fantastic. So these patterns play out time and time again in different markets. It's the Elliott waves. So look at that and look at the ADA BTC chart. It's the same thing. It's fantastic. Love it. Can't wait for that to play out. So Cardano is also coming further here into my area that I should just a short term um, target area that I put on the chart where I said this would be if this really is an impulse and we should really reverse here and continue to move up because we had one, two, three, four, five and an ABC. This is the area where it should be turning around. We can see that that downtrend is slowing down. It's basically again sitting between the 0.618 FIP level and the 0.887. Um, we did find a bit of support here at the 0.786 level early at 119, but it's dropped further again. And now I think we're going to see here the 113, 114 level. But um, yeah, with Bitcoin going down further, I wouldn't be too confident that Cardano really is turning around. I have hope that Cardano could slow down its downtrend and could really hold above a dollar if there might be another counter move of Bitcoin. But by no means is any of the downtrend here over. Um, Again, you know, with Bitcoin, I mean, with Cardano, it could be over. You know, we've seen a first impulse here, but again, nothing was confirmed. And um, we just need to see how the price is playing out. You know, overall, these are prices where I'm very happy to dollar cost average into Cardano. Um, I had my buy order, another buy order was triggered today. Um, and yeah, I'm, I've got price do, pri uh, buy orders even lower than $1 because I expect. And not necessarily expected, but I know it's a realistic possibility that the price could drop below a dollar. Um, and if it drops, we are going to see here lower levels of around 65 cents. We have then to go to the higher time frame, um, the higher level wave count in my view. And um, where I did draw the FIPS here starting at the dollar, we... Um, We have to do something different. If we want to look at the high level wave count, we have to start much lower 
and then have to go all the way up obviously to the all time high at around there. And if I go to the log scale, just to get an idea where that low was, I think we could, I would need to take a closer look at it, but I believe this could be the one that we need, or even that one maybe. Yeah, we'll probably have to have a, a closer look. I didn't really do that before this video, but we need to um, find then the, the beginning of the higher level wave. And then um, then we're gonna see, or maybe that's it. Yeah, maybe that was the beginning down here, that wave two, yeah, the higher level one, and um, started that new uptrend here. And then we would be expecting here the price to come down all the way to that level again. And then you talk about here the 68 cent level at the 0.786 FIB level. Um, uh, that's where I had this red line. I move it up slightly. And uh, there you go. I think that is the level where we could see the price um, go into if it loses the dollar level. The 0.786 FIB level of that higher level wave count. Um, and that would be a fantastic price for Cardano. I think it would be amazing to see that price and other people would get frustrated. But in the end, um, if it can't turn around here and if Bitcoin drags it down too fast, then there is realistic possibility that we see that price and then Cardano has a chance to turn around at this FIP level with a high probability. Um, and yeah, it's, it's worth in the current move down, I think to have some money left aside, yeah, because there could be lower prices coming. I would hate if I spent all my money now um, without leaving something aside because it could be really that you get epic prices here, yeah? And this could make millionaires. I'm not joking here. You don't get this opportunity every day of these low crypto prices. And um, obviously the higher you buy in, the higher, the, uh, the longer it will mean that you get back into profit. But I think the current prices are really good. I think we're getting fair, we're gonna get fairly quick out of it. Um, as you see here, how that wave move up started very fast here for Cardano back in August. Um, and the thing is, in the end, we all look, we're all gonna look back and say, I should have bought more at these prices. It's just it's just something worth thinking about, not telling you to buy, but I, I wanna leave money aside for the, 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 the dip of the dips, yeah, because that will come. It might not be fast, it might be very fast, but this could make millionaires. Because if you now talk about Possibly even let's just let's just speculate. It will be a 68 cent Cardano, and then we're talking about a 1.618 extension level at least. You know, of a five dollar Cardano, and that's a 10x. You know, you you to getting a 10x with a large market cap crypto is not happening every day, and you could even get more than that. You know, depending on which. And, and I'm not only talking about the next um, the next wave up. So then you get your wave four and your wave five, and you know could land here somewhere here at eight dollars or whatever, uh, realistically. And that's that's just an opportunity, you know. And I want to leave money aside for that because it could really um, it could change the lives for many of us. So yeah. All right. So that's pretty much the update for now. Um, really interesting times. Obviously on this channel, we remain calm when this happens. We actually look forward to it because we expected it to come, to happen. So um, yeah, buy orders start to trigger, start to dollar cost average in, that's what I'm doing. And if you're interested in seeing my buy and sell orders, you can join the channel membership on Discord and Telegram. Um, you can do that via my website or even here on YouTube and you can find links in the description. Great community, nearly 600 members now in just a few months. So I'm really, really amazed and surprised and fantastic support from all of you. Thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.